Okay, so we'll change this quadratic polynomial into completed square form, state values of a and b, and then something else. Right, well, there's two ways of doing it. I could equate the coefficients, and I'll do that at the end, but I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it to start off with, which just means it's complete the square. So we start off with x squared minus 10x plus 17, and I want to write it down as a squared expression, and I have to complete it by adding or subtracting something at the end. So what I've got, I've got to get x squared, so I'm going to have to have an x. And I've got to get minus 10x, so that means I'm going to have to have minus 5 here. And if I want to see what that comes to, x minus 5 times by x minus 5, that gives me x squared. There. It gives me minus 5x and minus 5 more x, so it gives me minus 10x. But it also gives me plus 25. So if I write that down underneath, it gives me x squared, it gives me minus 10x, and it gives me plus 25. And I wanted the x squared, I wanted the minus 10x, but I didn't want plus 25, and that's what I've written down, I want plus 17. And so therefore, I've got to take away 8. So that's how it is, and therefore I've got to state the values of a and b. a, it says minus a, and so it's minus, a is 5, and b is, is plus b, so b is negative 8. Hence, find the least possible value it can take. Okay, the least value, well, this value, the x minus 5, all squared, the lowest that can possibly be is 0, so the least value is minus 8. So the least value is minus 8, and it occurs when the bracket is 0. So when x minus 5 is 0, i.e. that means when x equals 5. And that's the answer. I said I'll do it by equating coefficients, and that is by saying that x squared minus 10x plus 17 equals x minus a squared plus b. And so what I have to do is equate coefficients. I need to multiply this out to start off with. So I've got x minus a times by x minus a which gives me x squared minus ax minus another ax, so minus 2ax, and finally plus a squared. So what I've written down, and actually it's not just equal, it's always equal to, it actually is always equal to x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus b, and that is x squared minus 10x plus 17. Well, the x squared coefficient is 1, and it's still 1 there, so nothing happens there. And here we've got 2a must be that 10, so 2a must equal 10, and so a will be 5. And the bits with the numbers, 17 equals, and it's all of that bit, a squared plus b. So 17 equals a squared is 25 plus b. And so b equals negative 8 as before. But personally, I would have done it the way at the top. And that's done.